Aisha Naik. And do you know the second most used substance in the world? After water, it's concrete. But what is concrete? So concrete is a composite material, sort of a mishmash, pish pash, made of cement, gravel, sand and water. All these simple materials make almost everything around us. Buildings, bridges, airports, schools. Nothing would exist if it weren't for concrete. Alright, let's mix up some concrete. Everybody knows gravel. It's little bit of broken rock. Everybody knows it. You can find it on beaches. You can find it on riverbeds. Nowadays, you can even crush rocks to get this powdery crushed sand. And everybody knows water. Our life depends on it. and water it won't form because it will not stick because the most important thing in the concrete mix is cement Now I'm going to give it a nice good mix until it looks really goopy. And then when this gloopy mess hardens, it'll turn into concrete. The first ever people to use a cement-like material was the Babylonians. But the most famous one were the Romans. The Roman Pantheon built 2,000 years ago the largest unreinforced cement, I mean concrete dome in the world. Roman concrete was made of lime. Not this lime, but limestone. Now what I'm going to tell you is very complicated. So you better pay attention. The lamp cycle is one of nature's best known examples of chemistry. So limestone is a chemical compound called calcium carbonate. Did you know even sea shells are made of calcium carbonate? So if you can't find any limestone for this experiment, just use sea cells. Sea cells. It's hard to pronounce. Now for the most dangerous part of the experiment, I'm going to heat up the limestone to a very high temperature. So don't do this at home kids, unless you have crazy parents like mine who want to let our kids play with fire. So we're going to put these rocks in the crucible and heat them until they're red hot. So I'm going to tell my sister to help me with the blowtorch. This process is called burning or calcination. The heat causes the calcium carbonate to lose carbon dioxide. It becomes calcium oxide or quicklime. And this is the first part 
of the lime cycle. Now I'm going to put the quick lime into water. This process is called hydration and it is the second part of the life cycle. If you look closely, you will see the water will boil because of the heat of this chemical reaction. So the quicklime reacted with the water making calcium hydroxide aka slate lime. For the third part of the lime cycle, the slate lime reacts to, with the carbon dioxide in the air in a process called recarbonation. The recarbonated lime turns back to hard rock and becomes limestone again. This completes the lime cycle. Lime mixed with sand and rock and volcanic ash give us ancient concrete, a predecessor of our modern concrete. I hope you will now learn this amazing chemical reaction that made human civilizations possible. Lime is an important part of making cement even today. Without the lime cycle, human beings would still be living in mud huts and caves. Thank you. This is Aisha Naik, who must now clean the mess she's made. Oh God. <laughs>